Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have my November empties, my beauty trash to share with you today. Um, anyway, wow, this month has gone by fast, hasn't it? I didn't do as much recording and posting videos as I wanted to. Um, if you don't follow me on Facebook, which is where I pretty much do any of social posting other than YouTube, you would have not have known that. My granddaughter who I had talked about in the last video got put back in the hospital. She had a setback and she ended up being in the hospital for a week. She got out on Thanksgiving Day. Anyway, um, she ended up the mass on her lung that I talked about. Instead of it going down in size, it tripled in size. It ended up it's a abscess. And anyway, so she was in the hospital for seven days this time, whereas before it was three days, this time it was seven days. She's out, she's on antibiotics still. She'll go back middle of December and have another CAT scan done and to measure that abscess and if that abscess hasn't shrunk or if the sac of the abscess is still there, then they're gonna to have to go in and surgically remove it. So anyway, yeah, it was, it's just not been good. And then also, I can't, I can't make this stuff up. My husband's stepmother was put into the hospital and has been diagnosed with um, liver cancer. So we are dealing a little bit with that too, so. Anyway, on to the empties. So, I have from Cosrx the AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner, and it is in a spray bottle, but I did not use this as like spraying onto my face. I would spray some into the palm of my hand and would do like this and then just pat it into my face is how I chose to use this. Um, I did like this, and at some point in time I will repurchase but just not anytime soon because I am going to go into um, the year 2020 with the mindset that I'm going to use up my skincare that I have on hand before I purchase any new skincare because I have so much that I just really need to utilize what I have but this is going to go on the repurchase list so because I did like it it's a um, like I say, an AHA, BHA, so it's definitely for exfoliation, and I would use this morning and evening. And then I have a oil cleanser. This was in one of my Pink Soul unboxing, or my Pink Soul boxes, which is a Korean subscription box that I would get bi-monthly, and this is from the brand Eye in Lip. Um, I did not like this. It um, did not remove eye makeup worth a hoot, for one thing. And plus, the very first ingredient in this was mineral oil. So I, I did not care for this, would not go out of my way to purchase this. I don't remember the price point of it. Anyway, I didn't like it, but I did finish it. Another product that I don't like that I had, and this was from Claire's, and it's the Claire's, um, we find the English, the Dear Claire's Tone Toner Matte 2 in 1 Cotton Pad. There is two different cotton pads, types of cotton pads in here. I know these came from Wish Trend probably last year during one of their Black Friday bundles, um, which by the way, I did not participate in any of the Black Friday sales events this year. I didn't purchase anything makeup, skincare wise, like I normally do, um, especially skincare from Wish Trend. Um, like I said, I'm trying to use up my skincare, so I did not purchase anything, but it had two different kinds of um, cotton pads in here. I didn't like these at all. Um, but I used them, but did not like them. Now something that I do like um, are these from um, First Day Beauty, and it's the Facial Radiance Pads. I would use these um, of the morning as one of my um, treatment products, and how I would use these is I would 
cleanse my face and then I would use one of these and then I would go in with my toners and essence and a serum so and I wouldn't do these every single day I would only do them like two to three times a week just as an exfoliation but I do like these and would definitely repurchase there was um, 60 pads in here the only thing about these this type of product is you want to make sure that once you open them that you use them because they will start to dry out and a tip to use um, to utilize uh, while you're using them is to store them upside down like this so that um, kind of helps keep them moist anyway so that is going on the repurchase list also for a later date here's another product that was in one of my pink soul boxes and this is from the brand um, I don't know what brand was this but it was the germinated brown rice deep cleansing foam um, gosh I don't know what brand this was but I we, my husband and I both use this we use this at night and I use this as my second cleanse this product lasted a very 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 long time very long time I probably uh, six months maybe because it just took just a tiny 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 bit because it was a foaming type product hmm I don't know what brand this is deep cleansing brown rice but anyway I did like it and um, if it was to come in another pink soul box I would not be upset about that because I liked it Welcos, there it is Welcos, w-e-l-c-o-s Welcos, and it is made in Korea so it is another Korean uh, product that I enjoyed um, my husband liked it too and like I said it took a really long time to use up this um, tube of cleanser so it was very very much well worth the price of it so and I don't think it was very expensive a very expensive product here's a product that I didn't like and this was in one of those Ulta those Ulta uh, gift with purchase type deals and this is from Hemp's and this was the star jasmine and vanilla herbal foaming body wash it was a limited edition it says here on it but anyway um, the smell of it was okay but it just maybe if I used it in the shower it might have been okay but I like to take baths and so I tried to put it on my loofah it wouldn't suds up like I like plus it kind of irritated my my skin I have to be careful with what I use on my body because certain products make me itch especially on my arms that's where I really really itch <laughs> if something irritates if it has too much fragrance in it it makes my arms just like I just want to claw them off so anyway not not a good product for me now this was okay um, I kind of got tired of the scent about midway through <laughs> but this was Dove and it's the purely pampering body wash and it's sulfate free and it was in the scent what was in the scent of this I don't remember I don't see it but anyway I liked it but I don't think I would repurchase it just because I got tired of it halfway through but it didn't seem to irritate me as bad as the um, the hemp's did but anyway so I did use that and then in my travel bag I had this one from Olay and this was the ultra moisturizing one the ultra hydrant body wash this one was okay it kind of irritated a little bit I tell you what the one that is from the Jason brand um, you can find them at TJ Maxx those are the ones that I have found that really work the best for me that don't irritate and I need to just stick with those but anyway that was a travel one and then I have this one <laughs> from um, that I got from Trader Joe's, and this was the Refresh, the Citrus Body Wash with Vitamin C. Um, I, at first, I liked it, and but then the more I used it, the more I didn't like it. I kind of got tired of it really, really quick. So I'm glad it was just a small container. I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase it. So, and it seemed like toward the end of it, 
it really started to irritate my my arms so I don't know if the fragrance of it was kind of concentrated down here at the bottom if it had settled but anyway I won't repurchase that didn't care for it oh then I have a perfume oh this is my beloved my beloved Nirvana Elizabeth and Jane's Nirvana bourbon oh I was so sad when this is gone because I love it absolutely love it love the smell of it have talked about it and because at one time you could not find this because it had been used to get it at Sephora um, in different places I think Sephora was the only place you could get it then they discontinued it out of Sephora well they have just now released it back at Kohl's Kohl's has picked up um, Elizabeth and James so they have the, the perfumes now and their clothing line so it can be purchased at Kohl's now so I'm not so sad anymore I can repurchase it now so and I am going to get another bottle here pretty soon um, I have a Tom Ford one that I need to use up before I purchase that though I have my makeup wipes um, from Apple from Big Lots the original clean I have those every month a mascara primer this is the l'oreal voluminous base um, my favorite um, eyelash primer purchased this a lot of times an elf eyebrow pencil i have these a lot in my empties now i go through one of these a month and this is in blonde a kate somerville exfoliate a little deluxe size sample i use this once a week um, to exfoliate my skin it's one of those little oh there are some in there still <laughs> can you see that it squirted out on me it's green but it has um, fruit acids in it and you just put it on clean dry skin and you let it set for a couple of minutes and then you add a little bit of water to it and you move it around and it really really does exfoliate your skin makes it feel smooth and just makes everything work so much better makes your skincare work so much better and makes your makeup going so much better it's just a really good product matter of fact you would have seen me haul in my last Ulta haul a um, kit that I got that had the big um, full-size bottle of this but I really do like this and like I said I use it once a week you put it on you just leave it on for a couple minutes don't leave it on any longer than that because it is pretty powerful it is a pretty powerful um, chemical exfoliant if you will um, and the acids that's in there it comes from fruit and then I have um, another um, skincare product and this was a deluxe size sample from I want to say free the people what is this called <laughs> I don't think it's free the people youth to the people it's the super berry hydrate and glow dream mask and this was like an overnight um, sleeping mask I did like this but I have some sleeping masks that I like better like the um, too cool for school um, pumpkin mask sleeping mask I think that's what it is anyway there's some sleeping masks that I like better than this that are cheaper but I did enjoy this while I had it so anyway then I have some makeup products that I finished. One is a lip liner. This was one of the Urban, Urban Decay um, special edition ones that came out when they had a collaboration with um, Gwen Stefani. So I did finish that up. Tried to sharpen it some more, but it just won't sharpen no more. So that is done. And then I finished up a bronzer from NARS. This is the Laguna bronzer. And just to prove to you that it is completely gone. <laughs> so um, don't need to repurchase this anytime soon because I have a whole drawer full of bronzers. So <laughs> probably going to be if I was to say I couldn't purchase any bronzers until I used up all the bronzers that I have. It would probably be 10 years before I could purchase another bronzer if I was being very very realistic with it and real with you yeah it would be 10 years if, if even then but anyway yes I did finish up a bronzer 
So that is it for my empties for November. Thank you so much. I am so sorry I haven't had as much content as what I was intending to have for November. But my family comes first and things just happen <laughs> that is out of my control. But anyway, thank you so much. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We did. We had a good Thanksgiving and we had really good news that Alice you know, got to go home that day. So anyway, thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon.